Hey Falcon fans, I'm Thomas Mod. Welcome to our Atlanta Falcons news and review video here on a Tuesday. A lot of things happening as we get closer and closer to the NFL draft. Let's jump right into uh, the DK Metcalf news. Now DK Metcalf has been in the news. We talked about him a lot. Um, you know, can you get him for the right price? Are the Seahawks trying to trade him? Are they not trying to trade him? That all seems irrelevant, right? You can have anybody in the NFL for the right price. The question is, how much would you have to go ahead and trade to get DK Metcalf? Now, at first I thought maybe a first-round draft pick. ESPN has a brand new article where they propose a very, I would say, team-friendly move for the Atlanta Falcons. Like, I would do this mock trade, as we'll see here uh, in just one second. The question really is, how aggressive is Atlanta going to be in getting a wide receiver? There's a report two weeks ago saying Atlanta was going to be very aggressive uh, in the first round getting a receiver. Do you need to do that if you can get DK Metcalf for cheaper than a first-round draft pick? That's my question. That's the point of the start uh, of today's video. Here's the mock trade. This is legit from ESPN. Multiple writers kind of combined on this thing. Here you go. Falcons get Metcalf. They have a 2022 second, a fifth, and a fourth in 2023. So really a second and a fifth. And then I guess an additional fourth, although really who really cares about 23 pick in the fourth round? Not that big of a deal. So instead of getting rid of a first, use one of your two second round draft picks and you get an elite receiver. Like I would 100% do this trade. Now, the reason why, now maybe this is not a realistic trade because if this was the actual asking price for DK Metcalf, trust me, they would have tried. I mean, they would have tried to go ahead and make this happen. But you also need to go ahead and understand that the value of Metcalf versus the value of a first round wide receiver is very interesting. I, I, I don't know if I'd trade a first round draft pick for Metcalf, I think there's some receivers in round two, three, and four that you go ahead and pick up who could be very, very good. We talked about them here uh, a lot. However, I would trade a second because I think a second round draft pick for DK Metcalf is way better than any second round wide receiver that, that, that you can get. I'm not saying that Metcalf is better than, or sorry, that Drake London is better than Metcalf right away. Maybe eventually, but not right away. But a second round draft pick, Metcalf would be a lot better than for a long time, even though you got to pay him after his rookie deal comes up here uh, very, very soon. So, will this actually happen? Who knows? Is Atlanta actually making phone calls to the Seattle Seahawks? Who knows? But ESPN has a mock trade. I want to show it to you, and I think that I'd be very, very interested in doing this one. What do you guys think? How important is adding another wide receiver to this roster? Like, on a scale of 1 to 10, how important is adding another wide receiver to this roster? Let me know down below. 10 being, like, super important, 1 being, like, not important at all. I, I think we're at 7 or an 8. The question is, how high do you want to spend uh, on getting one? Give me your answers down below right now. Now, they do trade for anybody or they sign anybody or the draft gets crazy we will have the coverage here i mean literally we'll cover it here on Atlanta falcons today go down below and subscribe to the channel for the latest and greatest falcons news and rumors hit that red button help us grow as we try to get you guys i mean a nice quick short in and out content that's the goal here is to get you guys you know here's what's going on in atlanta here's my thoughts on it done get out go 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 get the cup of coffee go hang out with the kids go finish your work day I'm not gonna bore you to death for two or three hours on a podcast this is short it's a sweet and it's your one-stop shop for the falcons if you like that sort of thing go down below and subscribe um, okay, more news here. We find out this week that the uh, Falcons are hosting their second quarterback on a pre-draft visit to Flowery Branch in the ATL, and that is Ole Miss's Matt Corral, who we don't know the exact date, but he is visiting this week, everything I've heard, uh, in, up in Flowery Branch. Now, again, there are only two quarterbacks that have actually visited Atlanta once Corral's done with his visit. That is Liberty quarterback Malik Willis and, and then now, like I just said, Matt Corral. So two out of the possible three or four that could go in the first round. I do think Corral, though, is, is one of the, the three best quarterbacks in this draft. I think him and Malik Willis are two, maybe 2A, two 2B. Two a lot of love for Malik Willis from the media. Not a lot of love for Matt Corral. Corral played a lot harder in division, played very good football. A lot fewer mistakes, a lot more accurate too. Like almost eight points more accurate in terms of uh, overall accuracy percentage. So I'm a big Corral, uh, Matt Corral fan. And I, I think that the Falcons could definitely look at him as a uh, as an option here. The numbers, they aren't 50 touchdowns. Like we get kind of, you know, Mac Jones threw a bunch of touchdowns and Joe Burrow threw a bunch of touchdowns and Tua threw a bunch of touchdowns. Uh, Matt Corral didn't throw a bunch. You see the numbers on your screen, but I still think he could be just an incredible, incredible quarterback if he's put in the right situation with the Falcons are that or not, who knows. Now, I wouldn't take him at eight. I would trade back and take Corral. Like, if you really want Corral, it's not up to me. It's up to Arthur Smith to see a fan of Matt Corral. Who knows? Uh, if you really want him, trade back to 12. Trade back to 15. Trade back to 18. Like, you can get him in the middle of the first round. Unless you have really good evidence that some other team wants Corral inside the top 12, there's no need to take him at number 8. So get the additional draft pick in 2023 by trading back, and you still get your quarterback. That, to me, would be not a bad move for the Atlanta Falcons. Now, I know a lot of people are very high on Malik Willis out of Liberty, and, and listen, I am too. I think he's a good player, but I, I think it does matter, even though there's been quarterbacks in the past to prove me wrong. 
But I am very much in, in favor of quarterbacks who have seen SEC defenses, seen really good play on the football field versus quarterbacks who haven't, uh, and you don't see a lot at Liberty. Let's just let's just say that. So nothing against um, uh, Malik Willis, but uh, I'm very much starting to hype up and feel really good about Matt Corral. Will Atlanta take him? Is it all smoke? It could be smoke. I've heard that one. They're just you know meeting with them to kind of convince teams that they want to take a quarterback. Not really sure, but we'll see what happens as he visits uh, Flowery Branch and the ATL this week. Uh, would you guys rather have Matt Corral or Malik Willis? Am I am I right in saying they're kind of both you know two A two B of this draft? If you want Emily um, Willis, type M or sorry, W Dembolo for Willis or type C Dembolo for Corral. All right, before we get into our final story of the day, our friends at BetUS have great promos going on right now for all of our Falcon fans out there who want to bet on maybe the Hawks. They got a play-in game against Charlotte on, on Wednesday, maybe against Cleveland on Friday if they win on Wednesday. And then the Braves are getting started here, two and three on their first five games. Bet, chatsports.com forward slash bet is the link that you need. Promo code is Falcons125. Get you 125% deposit bonus whenever you first sign up, and then you can use that to bet on, again, not the Falcons right now, not the future, but you can bet on the other Atlanta teams that are going on right now, including uh, the Braves and uh, uh, and the Hawks. All right, final story here. SI.com has a very interesting article up right now talking about trading with the Saints. Like, would you do it? And I wanted to read you the quote first, and then we'll discuss it. Here's the quote. Uh, In order to ensure the Saints get the pick they want, I have to jump into the top five. However, it's unlikely to see any of the top five teams training down in the draft when the Detroit Lions, Houston Texans, Giants, Jets already have an additional first-round pick. Falcons have reason to trade back considering the team is just beginning its rebuild and could use as many draft picks as possible. So the thought process is here, would you trade with the Saints? Sure. I have have nothing against trading with, with the Saints. Make sure you don't get fleeced. Like, don't give them any sort of you know, home division discount because obviously you hate the uh, Saints. But there are a lot of teams, I think, that could make sense in terms of trading up or trading down. The Steelers, you know, you think about a, a team that needs a quarterback. They love Malik Willis. Eight is the spot, man. I mean, eight right now is like, hey, you're going to miss out on, like, the top pass rushers. That's fine. But if you want to get ahead of the rest of the teams that want a quarterback, come get us uh, or come call us at eight, and we'll give you our pick, and we can move back. Saints, again, I'm fine with trading back to 18 because you can still get a really good player at 18, and plus you're going to get multiple picks for the Saints for that one. Chargers are rumored to want to come up, maybe for an offensive lineman, maybe for a skill player, who knows. Philadelphia at 15, if they want a, a Sauce Gardner, they want a Kyle Hamilton. Uh, these are all teams that have been r- r- rumored to be interested at least, and I'm sure we'll at least call the Atlanta Falcons at some point here in the future. But just to put a bow on this show, I have no problem trading with the Saints. I'll trade the Bucks, trade the Saints, trade the Panthers. I don't care. Just don't get fleeced by them. Make sure it's a fair trade or at least a one-sided trade in our favor. And then, you know, no worries there. I'm fine with trading down with the Saints. Are you guys, like, in, in, in agreement? Would you trade down with the Saints? If you would, type Y down below for yes. If you would not trade with the Saints at all, go ahead and type N down below for no. All right, there you go. Ultimate for today on our Atlanta Falcons news and rumor video here on a Tuesday as we keep an eye towards the draft and an eye on anything that could happen over the next couple of days and weeks here. Uh, if they trade for somebody, if they sign somebody, if something crazy happens, we will cover. So go down below and hit that red button to subscribe to the channel. That way you're notified whenever we drop our latest videos. We will also do a mailbag video. Not sure if it's myself or someone else here at Chat Sports, but we will pull and answer your mailbag questions. You want to be a part of that? Be a subscriber. Go down below. Use the hashtag Falcons in the comment section. Ask any sort of mailbag related question. And yes, you could get yourself featured here on the show but you want to ask a draft question for agency question like i mean we can ask i mean i can answer anything like just ask me ask me down below right now uh and be a subscriber and be a part of our mailbag video all right ultimate today on our atlanta falcons news and video here again keep you guys up to date latest content plenty more happening on the channel over the next couple of days and weeks we'll do a draft centered video probably tomorrow be sure to subscribe for that again for atlanta falcons today thomas mott signing off to the rest of your day